And that was Jimmy Nail with Crocodile Shoes. For my money, you don't get much better. Well, now, I don't know if you're like me, but I think that the Great British Barbecue can be a sad old affair from time to time. It's usually a wet afternoon with a burnt sausage or two, maybe some salmonella chicken drumsticks, or a sorry-looking chicken wing. Well, there's six lads from Hereford, and they're all out to change that, and they call themselves the Beefy Boys. And I've got Anthony Murph Murphy from the Beefy Boys on the line right now. How's things down in Burgertown, Murph? Yeah, things are good in Burgertown. Fantastic, fantastic. Great, well, wouldn't you tell us a little bit about the Beefy Boys and how it all started for you? Okay, yeah, well, it started in uh, my mate Dan's back garden. His back garden? Yeah. He wanted to throw a barbecue, we decided instead of just cooking normal barbecue stuff, we're trying to do something really special, so we tried to make the best possible burger we could possibly do. Oh, great. So we're not talking about a run-of-the-mill roadside cafe burger here. You think you're onto something special? Yeah, yeah, it's a 21-day-age Herefordshire beef. Uh, we get the buns specially made, all the sauces are made from scratch. Uh, we source all the cheese uh, specifically for it. Mm, well, my mouth is certainly watering. And you guys won some barbecue competition. Why don't you tell me about that? Yeah, we did. Yeah, it was called uh, Grill Stock. It's a big barbecue competition in Bristol. You get 25 of the best food teams in the country competing. We won Best Burger. And now because we won that, we get to go and compete in the World Burger Championships in Las Vegas. Amazing. Well, congratulations. And who would have thought all that from just flipping some burgers? Well, thanks for coming on the show, Murph, and uh, good luck with the Burger Boys. It's actually the And we've got somebody here now who we know would certainly like a burger. It's Adele with Rolling in the Deep. Yeah, Okay, guys, listen up! Yeah. Hey, listen! Right, as you all know, we've had some tough times on the grill in our past. We're about to face our toughest challenge yet. We're going to need our game faces up. Lee, where's your shades? Obviously, I'm not wearing them. Oh, yeah, I noticed that. Didn't you get the email? Yeah, I got an email. Oh, I did. Yeah, me too. Yeah, definitely said about shades in the email, man. In fact, that's all it said. Be at the warehouse at 8. Bring shades. Little, little kids. You got kids? I got an email, I'm just not wearing them. Oh, come on, man, it's for the video. <laughs> yeah, it's got to look moody. I said we should all be smoking. That's moody air. At least that's plausible. Yeah, but I don't smoke. But... Yeah, but you don't wear sunglasses indoors at night either, do you? Put your shades on, dickhead. You all look ridiculous. The, the only thing ridiculous around here is your attitude. Your face is ridiculous. <laughs> Um, well, we're mates. Uh, that's how it all started. I mean, none of us are any uh, professional chefs. So we got no sort of uh, training, so to speak. But uh, we know what tastes good, and uh, that's what we do. Okay, so you're winging it then? <laughs> well, uh, I wouldn't say that. Well, come on, let's be honest, you are winging it a little, aren't you? I mean, how do you expect a group of back garden barbecuing buffoons such as yourselves to compete against some of the best chefs in America? I mean, they're more experienced than you, they're more competent, and certainly more successful. I mean, America's the home of the burger, for Christ's sake, so what's going to give you the edge? Teamwork. Okay, so as you all know, we've been entered into the World Food Championships in Las Vegas. 50 of the world's best food teams converge on the city of Sin to compete in the number one burger showdown in the universe, and we are going to be there. Competing for the title of World's Best Burger. We're screwed. Steve, we're filming this. Oh. Oh, right. What does everybody bring to the table? Um, well, there's Dan. He's the logistics man. He's uh, sorting out uh, restaurants and stuff uh, for our market research when we get over there. And then there's Christian, um, or as we like to call him, the finger. Uh, he's a solution, not a performance kind of guy. Um, Nice to think outside the box, he'll be sorting out the suppliers over there. Why do they call him the finger? Uh, I can't really, I don't know, I can really say on camera. Then there's Chris, he's been to Vegas loads of times before. He's a, he's a bit of a risk taker, but he always manages to come out on top. Uh, he's quite the blagger as well, so he'll be sort of sorting out the people and places to share the two boys' experience with. Oh, like who? Ah, Dan Blazarian. You've contacted Dan Blazarian? Yeah, well, I messaged him on Twitter. Then there's A&E Steve, he works in IT. He'll be taking care of social media and the internet and stuff. Uh, 
uh, finally there's Murph. I suppose he's sort of main chef. He um, researches recipes uh, and stuff like that. Oh great, so he's got some sort of formal training at least. Well, not, not really, just stuff he's picked up from YouTube and Man vs Food. Picked it up from YouTube? I see, I, I, I'm struggling to find the words. I mean, you six burger boffins are going to go and take on the might of America based on this. Well, yeah. And what is it that you do? Um... Okay, so here's the plan. We fly to Vegas, we enter the World Food Championships, we win the $10,000, buy a food truck. What the hell is that? It's, it's a food truck. Shit. Cool drawing, bro. It's the worst picture I've ever seen. <laughs> That's an awful picture. It looks like a loaf of bread. Better than your drawings. No, no, no. It's, no, no. Look, it's moving. It's smoke. Look. Little money you're gonna make there. Shit. Pathetic, man. Useless. Yeah. I don't see why it's moving. This is a truck. But not when we're serving food. Well, That's dangerous. That isn't very safe with the money just outside. Shit. Right. It's practically a tuk tuk. Enough! So now. We train harder than we've ever trained before. watching our video. Uh, you might be pleased to find out that you can help support us on our trip to the World Food Championships in Las Vegas. Yeah, so below you can find a link to our crowdfunder page which we set up which uh, where you can donate to the Beefy Boys cause. You can donate anything from as little as a couple of quid to help us get to Las Vegas. Yeah and uh, say you wanted to donate like a hundred pound then we could give you uh, okay. this hat. You could have this hat for a hundred pound. Mm -hmm. This hat. That could hat. be yours. Could be yours. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you could donate 10,000. 10,000? What could we give for 10,000? 10,000 you could come to Vegas with us. What? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. idea. Uh, and so, say if you're a big company. Mm -hmm. And uh, you like the cut of uh, the Beefy Boys jib. Maybe you're a venture capitalist. A bored millionaire. Yeah, and you uh, want to get a piece, a piece of this. Well, uh, they get in touch about our sponsorship opportunities. We can fit logos. There. Down here? Look. He's He's big down here. Lee, Lee, I'm pretty sure you, you take a tattoo. I'd do anything for money. Anything. <clears throat> get in touch. Uh, hello at thebeefyboys.com. Thank you very much for watching.